I know y'all probably seen this video pop up and was like, what? Which is better, volume 7, RIP to Rich is better, volume 6, but hopefully we can make a zombie out of that joint and bring it back right, from, from the dead. For anybody that hasn't seen it, which is better, this one's gonna be a little different. Normally we just take two albums and smack them up against each other, but this time we wanted to kind of make it a little bit challenging, a little different, yep. and save time and copyright. Yes. Based on these two albums, we had to take 10 tracks a piece. It don't matter how many tracks is on the album, you take the best 10, I take the best 10 from this album, and we're gonna see which one we're gonna put. is better. Exactly. It took me about 15 minutes to pick my 10 tracks. It took Terrence a whole hour. That should let you know something though. That should let you know something though, why it took me that long. This is one of my artist's best projects, and honestly, I'm gonna tell you the honest truth. I'm not a big fan of the other guy. The two albums that we're talking about are Drake's Nothing Was The Same versus Frank Ocean Channel Orange. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you've already been here, hit the notification bell. We got a great video for y'all. Y'all got to stick through all the way to the end because the songs get better and better. This is the most pointless video ever. I speak for all the people that think Frank Ocean is just overrated. This album is going to stick around way longer. Not than true at all. Then. And I'm going to tell you why. Started Go ahead. Them. Ready? Yep. I got us. We just started the album, let me just tell you this. <laughs> he said I'm getting 20 off the record. Coming off the last record, I'm getting 20 million off the record just to off these records, nigga, that's a record. Tuscan Leather is named after a, um, a Time Forward cologne. It's a six minute intro. You got the I'm presenting paper, so this is what we gonna do. <laughs> uh, that was it. <laughs> City Gucci Road, like they say up at UNLV. Young rebel, young money, nothing you can tell me. Now you just get vibes. After bars. You hear that shit? Yeah. How much time is this nigga spending on the intro? Lately I've been feeling like God Pierce and Memento. The fact that he said lately I've been feeling like God Pierce and Memento, I just really have to pinpoint if you haven't seen Memento. Right. It is literally in my top five best movies that I've ever seen. Yep. Like God Pierce and Memento. I just set the bar, niggas fall under it like a limbo. Goodness, bro. Goodness. I just set the bar, and niggas fall under it like a limbo. Yeah. To start the album, it was perfect. I don't even know if I should play anything else. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to start with something that we know. Like, y'all know how Frank give it up. <laughs> a tornado flew around my room before you came. Excuse the mess it made it usually doesn't rain. This song was probably a bigger hit than almost every song on your album. False. Drake wish he had vocals like this. You got him? Low key got him. It's no competition. The music is too good. This song almost leveled your whole project just now. I don't think so. This made my list. This is definitely this is a hit. This is a platinum track. Started from the bottom, now my whole team fucking here. Started from the bottom, now we here. It's something that everybody still says to this day. I just, I'm gonna just, I'm just pause you right there, bro. We Living all, with your mom and then you working late and there's always traffic on the way home. Yeah, I still deal with some shit. You remember like that. that shit? Yeah. Cause I gave you the keys and told you to bring it right back. Now I'm on the road. For sure. yeah. I had to turn that shit off to play some real music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too many bottles of this wine we can't pronounce. Start my day on the roof. Okay, come on, y'all. Nothing like this type of view. She was my best three times a day. This shower head was so amazing. That line is better than every line on this Drake album. Terrence, Jay Z's on this Drake album too. Sorry, Jay. Shower head. Fire. That's flame. That's better than everything on the, your album. What's better than that? 
Started from the bottom, now we is. Alright, look, I'm just getting my hits out of the way. Super rich kids with nothing but loose ends. Real love. I'm searching for a real love. I'm ready to get this next one. This one of the one best songs ever to freestyle to as well. Yeah. What's up? With them bitches, I don't get it. Yes, I love. Janae, go! It doesn't sound right when I do that. <laughs> this is a pink diamond. Pink Janae diamond. Icon. Janae and a pink diamond Drake. This is Drake's favorite cut from the album as well. This is Drake's favorite. Literally about Drake and an old flame. Janae plays the old flame like, yo, what's up with them bitches? I don't get it. You a star? Okay, yeah. He comes like in with it. I needed to hear that shit. I hate when you're submissive. Passive aggressive in a text and I feel the distance. You a flower child, beautiful child, I'm in your zone. Oh, my mother is 66 and a favorite line to hit me with is who the fuck wants to be 70 and alone. Some of the best she ever said. You a and flower child, beautiful child, you in your zone is one of the best Drake lines he's ever Great said. Great to put on a like my mother is 66 and a favorite line to hit me with is who wants to be 70 and alone. Y'all don't even know what you want from love anymore. I search for something I'm missing and disappear with a boy. But girl, girl who better for you than a boy? Huh? Then you get Janae. Look. You ever feel more about somebody than they feel about you? Then she start telling me how I never be as big as Trey song. Or was she wrong? wrong? That was just negative energy for, for me to feed on. on. Sorry, Trey. You'll never be as big as Trey songs. And that just goes to, go, go to show how sometimes you could be talking to somebody that's just toxic as fuck. Let's just say, I used to go smack at certain jumps, and they used to give me the smooth, strongest yeah. curve, and now, like in 20 picks. Look at me now. Ow. I'm getting paper, boy. A Chris Breezy, a Chris Fame Breezy, album. Fame <laughs> reference. Forty was just nasty with it, bro. Don't forget, we get a pink diamond forty on that. It's a whole project. Yeah, they just all killed it. They just all killed it together. Hey, Frank. We just want to let the music speak, Frank. Listen. Much peace and pinches. This song is called Monks, bro. And the reason why it's called Monks is because he goes through verse by verse explaining basically like three different situations with three different chicks in different, almost like three chicks in totally different situations. They live their whole life with their religion, bro. They're like, they're mad committed. He, he's referring to these chicks as like monks. They worship him as if he was like the Dalai Lama. This song is all about Drake having no father as a child, being left out, niggas didn't think he could rap, niggas didn't think he could, think he could make the transition into become the biggest rapper, mm -hmm. to actually becoming that. On my worst behavior. You know why? Because I did what everybody said I couldn't do. This song literally applies to everybody. Look at Mike Trout. If Mike Trout was to post a video, it was like, worse on my worst behavior. Because yeah. guess what? None of y'all thought they I was going to never want to hear us. Remember? Motherfucker. That is my favorite thing about it. The fact that he keeps saying, remember? Because it's like, you really talk everybody that talks shit about me, they're going to hear that remember a different way. Got, exactly. They're going to hear that shit and it's going to yes. hit. You know me. I'm liable to do anything when it comes to that you owe me. Niggas learned that the hard way from Drizzy. Drizzy is like a mobster now. Hey, I'm liable to do anything when it comes to that you owe me. And guess who learned? <laughs> Yay. <laughs> if anything touches my family, if anything, if anybody in my family dies on Drake. <laughs> he went from, I'm liable to do anything when it comes to that you owe me, to crap down the block. Hey, yeah. Made a right. Hey, yeah. Cut the lights. Hey. Enough to make you feel I made this gross what I nap. I'm with a whole set, take this matches at the crib. That's why I could be so real when she playing with a lamp. Look, enough, enough to make you throw up. Man, it's gross what I nap. Like throw up, gross. Yeah, this is a way more fire line and you don't know tennis. This nigga said, enough to make you throw up. 
Think about it. You throw the ball out when you play tennis. It's gross with our net. You feel me? Oh, shit. I'm with my whole set. You play a set in tennis. Tennis matches at the crib. I swear I could beat Serena when she playing with her left. And you know what? That's crazy. Because I don't really know tennis as well as Terrence. Yeah, I used to play tennis. And that's... Literally the last 40 seconds of the song is the remember motherfuckers. It's a whole bunch Just of so remember. You know. Just so you know. This song is amazing. I'm not even gonna get real mad deep into, into, into these songs anymore because I feel like niggas like you don't respect the I good do. music. Oh, this is about to get hot. The girl he's talking about in this song is addicted to smoking weed, but he's addicted to that girl. If you think about what Pilot Jones That's actually a really nice song. Pilot Jones is like, you know how you say you got Love Jones? Pilot plays on so many different things. Pilot planes on getting high because you fly a plane. Pilot planes on the first episode of like a show, be aka like your first love. And then Jones is like, whonever you got the Jones for anything, it's like, yeah, you're Jonesy. He so you got airplane sounds that you can hear all throughout the song. The song starts with literally him on an airplane. The song plays with addiction and love and how you could be addicted to somebody who's not healthy for you the same way they're addicted to whatever it is that ain't healthy for them. That's actually a, that's actually a pretty lit song. Y'all know it's no competition. This nigga played Beat It. There's no way this song didn't go in the, in the album. And speaking of Michael Jackson, this was Drake and this was Drake in 40s attempt at being Quincy Jones and Mike. This that was their inspiration. Michael Jackson and Quincy Jones record, 100, 100 BPM. Like that's what they were going for. Okay. I got my eyes on you. I want you to hear that part. We heard it. Think about it. You a good girl, you know it. Yeah. Who had an album called Good Girl Going Bad? Riri. This, this nigga was trying hard to get Riri back and she hit him with the. Uh, <laughs> he, he tried to kiss her and she was like. Uh, he was like. Mm. But oh, they, yeah, Sullivan, dog. They broke up right after that award show. You a good girl and you know it. I know exactly what you could be. It's him basically saying, y'all, like, I see the good girl in you. He's trying to bring that out of you. bring it out of whoever it is. This is the deluxe edition. It has Drake on the front, but if you have the standard edition, it has the little version of Drake with the yeah. afro on the front. Yeah. So it's kind of like a parallel. So it's like nothing was the same between when I was little and now. The best thing about this song is that you literally can fucking listen to it if you go on a long ass drive or Do wherever. Anywhere. It does not matter. So I'm up. I think Joe, I think Joe Button talked about this song before on his podcast and how it's literally the same thing. He was like, "How he get off saying the same thing six times?" And it worked. That had to be added to this because honestly, bro, it's such a beautiful song. The Frank Ocean fans and the people that know how great this song is and the music is, they just laughing at you right now. Let, go ahead. How you know about Frank Ocean fans? This song is called Crack Rock. This song is called Crack Rock. You never heard Crack Rock? Frank Ocean, I think, was raised by his granddad, and his granddad used to tell him shit about, like, his granddad used to go to addiction meetings. So, he talks about addiction a lot. You in the middle of Arkansas with a little rock left in that glass dip. Basically, like, the glass pipe. Right, yeah. But a little rock in the middle of Arkansas? Bars. Oh, that is fire. Bars. Damn. Damn. Yeah. Think about it. He said you used to It's almost talking about the addiction to crack and how you use you you let your love for that literally fuck up everything. It's like a judgment thing too, because that like him saying you hit the stones in a glass house. You know how they say, don't throw stones if you live in a glass house? Mm -hmm. Like, don't be hitting them stones and abandoned homes. Yeah. Exactly. But the priest ain't trying to sleep with back here. Crooked cop, dead cop. How much dough can you piss to me? I crack, crack. Oh. There's so 
certain things he says in that song that's fucked up. He'd be like, your family doesn't trust you anymore. They won't let you hold the infant. And then he just starts saying, crack rock. Like nobody can beat this feeling right here for this crack rock. So I wanted to pick all of the songs out of Nothing Was The Same that I felt like were the most creative, create, uh, relatable. I picked Come Through Over Too Much. Uh, wow. Pick Come Through Over Too Much over too much because... Are you serious? Yes. This was tough. This was tough as fuck. But Come Through is so relatable. Come Through is literally about a girl that lives in your city, literally right down the fucking street, and you're like, yo, you might as well come Everybody through. Everybody has been in a Come Through situation. What people don't get about that is that that's her actually coming through. He's always talking to her from a distance, like, girl, you know we got things to do to get your ass in the car and come through. This is like the passion. This oh, is when they yeah. finally get together. That's well, why he's like, really fuck with that. Now. That's why he's like, where have you been? So you're right. Where has he been? Frank. Got it. I mean, Frank Ocean's a singer. Exactly. I was about to wait for But Drake can get in his vocal answer. bag too. Just like my man Frank can get in his bar bag. Taxi driver. You must shrink for the hour. A loud white bar. I told him don't cut me. This song is He's too good for, for your ears, bro. is too good he for them nothing was the same ears. He definitely was eating that. He said this unrequited love to me is nothing but a one man cult. Come on Frank. That song is fucking awesome bro. That song is basically saying that loving somebody when they don't love you back is a bad religion. You feel me? If it brings me to my knees, if that shit makes me weak, you feel me? If that shit makes right. me fall, it's a bad religion. This to me was my favorite song from the project, honestly. Isn't it amazing? I can talk all this shit and we still lack communication. Just that first. Not every conversation starts, but this time we'll be different. Uh, Little 16, 24 bars or whatever that was. At least we try for on every time. Yeah. Swing. Is the essence of the entire song. You, you don't know what situation you could be with. This could be between uh, two people in a relationship. This could be between somebody and their parent that they're trying to create a relationship with. It could be a player and a coach. You know what I'm saying? It could be anything. You could. Uh, well, whoever okay, yeah, is. I'm feeling you. Yeah, I'm feeling you. All right, I got you. My bad. Don't talk to me like I'm famous. Don't assume, cause I don't respect assumptions, babe. I'm just trying to connect with something, babe. This is probably the, one of the best songs he's ever made, too. That is a really good line. Don't assume, cause I don't respect assumptions. Like, don't assume I got all these hoes. Exactly. Don't assume that I'm still oh talking my God, to my bro. girl. Don't assume, cause I don't respect assumptions. I'm just trying to connect. I'm trying to get at you, and you are, you're making assumptions. This song is literally my life. Hey. Hey, hey. Drake was the only one being as vulnerable as he was being, and everybody called him soft and said, oh, you like that soft-ass Drake shit. But Drake was vulnerable and letting people know his weakest points. And when he was weak for some, when he was weak for some girl. And honestly, I don't care what nobody said. Everybody has been trapped in some good good before and you're right and you were in some wild shit the same niggas who call drake soft will be the same niggas who will be listening to them joints on the low but i'm already in a good mood He's basically telling her, you're lost in the thrill of what I'm going to show you. Like, I'm torn. I'm a star. I just feel 
feel like this song is like the perfect song to like. This song sounds like you just put up to the beach or some shit. This is the song that's playing and you like, you know what? I'm motherfucking happy with my life right now. <laughs> yeah, when you put up to the music part, I don't know if anybody else get hyped. But when I pull up to the music part. I still get hyped. And you can see the rise and shit. You like, hey, we late. We about to get on it. They said this is actually what they consider a track that didn't make Magna Carta Holy Grail. Wow. Drake said, I'm taking that and putting it on my album. I'm taking it and putting it on my album. <laughs> I got the jokers out of the deck now, I'm holding all the cards. Niggas wanna play chess now. Like, now you're trying to change, trying the, game to change the game because I've literally taken over everything. I'm not a racist. <laughs> Uh, this is one of my favorite J verses, like ever. Okay. I tell you, a lot of people don't really get what he's really saying. All right. The old black Maybach, but I'm not a racist. The inside's white in the Katy Perry spaces. Yellow diamonds in my Jesus. <laughs> That's not even really crazy, like that. We not, but it's nothing that we're not gonna get. So don't write. Right, so you we got it. So you got it. Yellow diamonds in my Jesus. Your Jesus piece. In the inside, whiter than Carrie Perry, Perry face, okay. It's nothing really crazy to get from that. Nothing crazy to alright then. So go for it. I thought the same thing. You bitch ass nigga, shut the fuck up and let me explain my shit. The Dang. all black Maybach, but I'm not a racist. So him saying, I got an all black Maybach, but I'm not racist. You know how somebody say, I got black friends. Yeah. But Jay-Z, watch how he use all the other races and all his other shit. The all black Maybach, but I'm not a racist. Um... <laughs> In the in, cause the inside of the Maybach is whiter than Carrie, Katy Perry Katy face. Perry, cause the Katy Perry faces. Okay. And I got yellow diamonds in my Jesus. Oh, oh my God. goodness, bro! Come I'm on! I'm done with this nigga. <laughs> I'm done with Jay. The inside is whiter than Katy Perry face. Goodness gracious, bro! I'm telling you, bro, that shit crazy. Bro. I just might learn to speak Mandarin. Japanese for the yin that I'm handling. All black Maybach. Inside the way the K Perry face is. Yellow diamonds in my Jesus. Then he says, I just might learn to speak Mandarin. Chinese people speak Mandarin. Japanese for the yin that I'm handling. It's crazy. Yen, yen is the that's their form of money. If you got remember, remember okay, think about it. Remember when Nicki Minaj was like, all of my money's in yen. Remember yeah, what I was saying that for yen. Remember what I was saying that for all of my money. money's in yen. <laughs> Terrell was saying that shit forever <laughs> for some reason. But yen is the is the Chinese, that's their dollar. Or Japanese, Japanese for, for the, the yin, yin that I'm handling, but also the Japanese symbol is yin and yang. So the yin has two. Is the yin the white? The white with the black? The yin and the yang? So yin is white. So that could be the yin like this coat. Right. Oh. Woo! That's to let anybody know if they circle small, you good. Like five hundred dollars in New York. It's a New York term. Okay. You got five hundred dollars. It's a pound. New York pound. Yeah. All right, bet it costs a pound. So five hundred million. I got a pound. Real niggas. Cake. Hey, look. That's how look, you know. Niggas is front and that's upside down cake. Think about an upside down cake. Well, how you make it? You put the fruit on the bottom, put the batter on, and then look. The fruit rises by the time after you bake it. So niggas is front and that's upside down cake, meaning niggas don't show their true colors at first. Oh wow, oh yeah. Cause the fruit rises. The fruit rise. It's, they should have never let you round cake. Look at my neck. I have a carrot cake. Yes. The best thing about Paris, that nigga got in his bag on that. The part. best thing about Paris Morton music is that it's a continuation of the same vibe that he was going for on Aston Martin music. If it was to go on Magna Carta Holy Grail, it would have just been Pound Cake. It wouldn't have been Paris Morton. We're spending too much time. Spending too much time alone. This song is overrated. Sierra Leone is a country in Africa. Like Drink wish he had most like this. It's known for their pink skies. Sierra. So her pink skies kept me warm is her when you're young and you're messing around with a shorty, 
you can be a little irresponsible. Quite everybody hear what he said. He said this shit feeling too good. This shit glistening, shimmering. Bro, the music is just too good. Listen to it. The fun that he was having with the girl, he talked about how it was getting too good, and he ended up having a fucking kid, bro. That like to me, that part is such a like the. Like that, the most rewarding. Yeah. He's talking about he's singing. He, I'll tuck my daughter in. I'm a, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be there for my daughter and not abandon her. They said this song meant a lot to, to Frank Ocean because you know Frank Ocean's dad's not in his life. Beautiful fucking song. Favorite. This is a lot of people's favorite track from the album. It was the most. Yeah. It was the most. It was the song that she was gonna ride to. Bro. The, I'm telling you. Chase. I can think the same. Take your brain. Million. Sit up for. Watch me switch it up. Walk in. Ill nigga alert. Ill nigga alert. We actually did a flashback Friday for this song, so y'all already know what's up. Go and look when it comes to all me. Touchdown in 86. You know what was a man by the 86? Like Lady shit like a greatest hits. Goddamn. His latest shit was take care, right? Lady shit was take care when that came out. Right. So his latest shit was definitely, definitely like the greatest, greatest hits. hits. Ho, shut, shut the, the fuck up. up. I got. Way too much on my mental. I learned from what I've been through. I'm finna do what I did. Learn from what I've been through. The real Frank Ocean fans just know that like it's over with, bro. This album, real shit. This song is gonna take a few listens for you to really understand, bro. Like, I can't really. Pink matter is a spin on gray matter, and gray matter is apparently what makes up your brain together, right? So, when he says pink matter, he's basically talking about a woman's. That's a pink matter. Cotton candy, Majin Boo. Those are obviously pink, pink references. Pleasure over matter, bro. You ever argue with your girl and then y'all argue and then, you know what I'm saying, y'all end up having sex. And y'all don't talk about the real issue. Y'all don't even talk about it. And it's still an issue later. Because guess what? As long as y'all got each other for real, for real. Nothing matters. That's why when he says pleasure over matter, that's a that's giving the reassurance to anybody who's straight or gay or bi or whatever. Whatever make you happy. Is Whatever's gonna make you happy is more important than matter. If one day I have a son or a, or, or a daughter who's gay, and they're they're struggling with it, and their parent me, I can't really help you do that. But you can listen to somebody like Frank. Who subliminally, who, who subliminally puts like messages in his songs for y'all, but like I can listen to the whole thing, not even think about that shit. Taz, every witch is better has he some. Me. He has some sentimental moment. Since you've been gone, I've been having withdrawals. You were such a habit to call. I ain't myself at all. Had to tell myself no. She better with some fella with a regular job. <laughs> By the way, the person playing the guitar on this whole song is actually Andre 3000. That's a beautiful. It is a beautiful fucking That's song, fucking bro. <laughs> Nothing was the same. Not that I'm famous, nothing is the same. The conversations that I have aren't the same. The relationships that I try to make are not the same. Everybody looks at me this way. It is a perfect song. I still been plotting on the law. Look, scheming on the law. The farthest thing from perfect, like everyone I know. Yeah, like you know I'm rich. I'm still yeah, I'm going still, with yeah, I still going with, and then it's yeah. like the bop is like everybody coming together. Fucking on the low, smoking on the low. You ever talk to somebody that's like in their feelings, and so you come down with them and tell them you fucked up too, and then y'all kind of like, yeah. come on, bro, like, you good? Yeah. That's why, like, when he says I still been drinking on the low, mobbing on the low, it's kind of like somber. It's like it's got that, it's got that that hum to it. And I hate that you don't think I belong to you. 
Just too busy running shit to come home to you. Smoking. Smoking. It's the most beautiful song on the album, bro. Uh, this is right for me. My mama told me this was right for me. Like, I should slap the shit out of you. Yeah, for acting different. Then he like, this the shit that I want to leave to. Making women swimming, that's just how I'm living. Donate a million to some children, that's just how I'm feeling. Donate a million to some children, that's just how I'm feeling. He made this song in 2013. 2018, we got God's plan, and he gave $1 million to some children, that's just how I'm feeling. Yes, I had a Derrick Rose and Neil for That's nothing was the same for, for me. Those are my ten. Those are the ten best tracks from Nothing Was the Same for me. Furthest thing wraps it up. As you can see, he started talking mm -hmm. about his wins at the end. Because if this is what I'm going out to, let me let y'all know what the fuck I'm doing. Y'all already know when I cross that finish line, I'm gonna be holding up that number one. This song better than the last song you played. This song is. This song is to me is, is Frank Ocean's best. Uh, uh, Yes! This song is definitely way better than, fur than Furthest Thing. Look, there's four verses on this, right? The future shine like diamonds What good is a jewel that is still precious? Look, could you run up on me? Uh. Now think about this, bro. He still, even though he's using Cleopatra as the reference for the song, he's still talking about a shorty that's basically his girl. You feel right. me? Like, send a cheetahs to the tomb, our queen has met her doom, she done ran off on me. That album is full of transitions, bro, but there's no transition like this one. So the pyramid is a strip club. All I'm gonna say is there's no way that you're gonna tell me that one of them songs on that album is better than the last Furthest two songs that I've heard. Furthest Thing is better than Pyramids. It's not. It was cool. It was a great song. I'll tell you It's a phenomenal song. It has a great if transition. Frank wanted to make, but that's better than Furthest Thing. If Frank wanted to make Furthest Thing, he could. But Drake could I never make. Agree. Drake could never make Pyramids. Drake's not that level artist. Drake's not on Frank's level. Poe gonna be right here, go ahead and say what album you thought was better. Yeah. Frank Ocean fans, we actually really need y'all to take the poll. Drake fans, take the poll. We already know the It doesn't matter what that doesn't matter what the um, poll says at the end. We know that Frank Ocean is that better. That's what people say when they feel like we know that Frank Ocean is better. So I'll like, be completely honest, y'all. I think I really butchered this which is better. And I think I'm I'm a little rusty from not doing it in a minute. <laughs> and Frank Ocean's album. You got. I left out so many good songs. Right. Forrest Gump, I didn't put on there. Arguably the best song in the album. Sweet Life, I didn't put on. Ten tracks, they're my favorite ten tracks, basically. The ten tracks that I feel gave the, the album the most. Uh, didn't play on it. I didn't play Now You Talking My Language. I didn't play 305 to my That's city. crazy you didn't play a bunch of tracks. I had to pick ten. Again, we did the ten songs just for time constraints because believe it or not, these joints are too hard to do. Think about it. We've only done, we already did ten songs and we got what two hours footage. Yeah. Remember when we started and we were like, guys, guess what? It's four o'clock. It's Look, four o'clock. It is almost seven. Ten thousand likes and we'll throw out the next, which is better. Yeah. Comment what you think we should do next for which is better. I already said follow us on the socials. Those are gonna be right there. Mm -hmm. Two things. If you're new to the channel. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you've already been here, make sure you hit the notification bell so you get notifications every time we do drop. Hey, it's going to be OG merch on the shelf below. Go ahead and get the OG merch while it's still there. we got new merch that's dropping super soon. As soon as it gets here, then we're going to let y'all see it, and then we're going to let y'all buy it. Michelle. By the time you probably hear Bruce Wayne, you already know what that means, dog. Like, comment, share, subscribe.